Loose tenon joinery is nothing new. They were used in shipbuilding more than 3,000 years ago. What's new is that you can now quickly and accurately create perfect mortises for loose tenon joinery with your plunge router and you can buy tenon stock milled to tolerances tight enough to be used in exposed joints. Introducing the Morning Loose Tenon Joinery Jig and Woodpecker's Precision Milled Loose Tenon Stock. Morty uses a combination of template guide bushings and router bits to create seven different sized mortises. The mortise sizes are the same as those made by the two Festool Domino mortisers. Four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen millimeter. But Morty does all seven sizes, not just five out of seven or four out of seven. Morty's built-in clamp holds stock up to three and a half inches wide. And the template carrier adjusts to position your mortises right where you want them. We've engraved center index marks inside the template. Just spot the lines in the template with the center lines of your mortise and you're ready to go. We've also included an index pin system on the bottom of the template carrier. When you're cutting joints at the end of your boards, the index pins are faster and more accurate than aligning to pencil marks. The threaded index pin holes on both sides of the template are precisely equidistant from the center of the mortise. So mating joints come out perfectly. For a stopped index further from the end, we've included two flip stops and stop rods. The flip stops have three flags, which allows you to accurately expand the size of your mortise when needed. The template can be adjusted to any angle within the template carrier. This opens up new options in compound angle construction. You can even make louvered doors. Just set the angle you want and use the index pin to give you perfectly spaced angled mortises. To go along with Morty, Woodpeckers is offering lengths of precision milled tenon stock. This stock is a perfect fit in Morty mortises and those cut by the Festool Domino joiners too. The stock is perfectly sized to the mortise so you can use it for exposed joints. Grooving the material behind the exposed end gives excess glue some room to move. Working with lengths of stock instead of pre-cut tenons means you can make your tenons as long or as short as you want. Just cut them to length as needed. If you already have a Festool Domino, our tenon stock opens up design opportunities by creating perfectly fitting, exposed joints. Right now, we offer tenon stock in white oak and beech in all seven sizes. More species will be added soon. And Morty is the perfect companion to either Domino machine. If you have the DF500, but every once in a while you need a large mortise, you need a Morty. If you have the DF700 and you need a little mortise once in a while, you need a Morty. Morty comes complete with the four templates you need for all seven mortise sizes, the quarter inch router bit you need for eight millimeter mortises, and sample lengths of eight millimeter tenon stock in both white oak and beech. Everything you need to get started on your first loose tenon project. You can get Morty with a wall mountable racket or in a sustainer. Get started in loose tenon joinery or take what you're already doing to another level with the Morty loose tenon joinery jig and Woodpecker's precision milled loose tenon stock. If you struggle to drill a straight hole, and who doesn't, then you're going to want to see this.
Woodpecker's new auto line drill guide goes where a drill press can't and keeps your bit perpendicular to your work. The standard hex shank fitting mates to any cordless or corded drill in seconds. Even faster for impact drivers and quick change adapters. Tight tolerance bearings and a half inch geared chuck deliver minimal runout. The chuck carrier rides on Teflon bushings, following polished stainless steel columns. Notice the taper machined in the column. That's where you lock the depth stop. With minimal clamping force on the stop knob, the taper prevents the stop from slipping, no matter how many times you bang into it. But drilling your hole straight is only half the battle. You also have to put that hole in the right place. And this tool has several ways to help with that. First, there are laser engraved guides in the base. Line them up with your witness marks, and your bit is perfectly centered. Next, we included a versatile fence system. The fence guide rods mount to any edge of the base, and the fence mounts to the guide rods in four different positions. You can slide it under the base to work close to an edge. You can turn it around to obtain maximum distance. You can flip it on edge to have a wider base, or you can put the thin edge down and create an outrigger for additional support. When you need a hole centered on your stock, remove the centering pins from their storage position, thread them into the bottom of the base. Now hold one pin tight to each side of your board and your bit is right on center. The hole in the base allows for drills up to an inch. When you need to drill larger holes, just remove the column caps, turn the chuck carrier around, and now you can use up to two inch Forstner bits. We even machined a V into the base to help you drill round material. Inside measurements can be awkward with tape measures or rigid rules, but the modular bar gauge expands to give you an exact reference for any inside dimension. By threading together the bar sections, you can use the modular bar gauge on projects as small as 8 and a quarter inches all the way up to 96 and 5 eighths inches. To add even more versatility, we've designed four different tips to simplify different measuring challenges. Use the blunt tips for measuring the space between two flat planes, like cabinet sides. Use the pin tips to reach down inside grooves. They're perfect for sizing your drawer bottoms. The arrow-shaped tips make checking diagonals simple and accurate. And the mushroom tips change the inside measuring tool into an outside measuring tool. Now, switch from the mushroom tips to the blunt end tips and set up your table or miter saw with an exact physical reference of the dimension you need. You can also get the modular bar gauge system with a pair of trammel heads. Lock the trammel heads anywhere along the bar. Place the carbide tip scribe at the center of your arc. Engage either a pencil or the second carbide tip scribe and draw perfect large arcs, up to 16 feet in diameter. The modular bar gauge system is available in two sets. Both include all four tip sets, two end bars, six 12 inch extension bars, two six inch long extension bars, and two precision machined sliding bodies. The larger set also includes the pair of trammel heads. Your modular bar gauge system comes neatly protected in a custom fit molded case. Or you can get it in a sustainer that will stack and lock with your other woodpeckers and festool systems. Like all woodpeckers one-time tools, the modular bar gauge system is precisely machined and carefully inspected right here in the USA. Workshop organization is the key to a good workflow. Every tool needs a home with quick access and a storage solution that just makes sense. That is why we created the cordless drill station. The cordless drill station is made up of two pieces of 13 gauge steel 
with mounting holes 16 inches on center. It secures to the wall using two lag bolts. There's space for up to four cordless drills to hang, keeping them ready for easy access. And the top shelf is the perfect place for battery chargers. We made cord management simple by incorporating slots on both sides of the shelf. We also included four cubby drawers with two removable dividers within each drawer to organize fasteners. Need to label your bins for even quicker access? Simply use a dry erase marker to label each one. And if you gotta make a change, just wipe it off. And the cordless drill station is specially designed with the auto line drill guide in mind. On the right side, there is a spot to hang the auto line drill guide and the fence. On the left side is a place to store the chuck key, wrench, flip stops, and up to six extension guide rods. And if you don't have an auto line just yet, well don't worry. There's plenty of items around every wood shop that'll fit in their place. How about a tape measure, center punch, screwdrivers, painter's tape, scissors, or bit holders? You get the point, it'll fill up quick. If you're looking to take a step in the right direction and get a little more organized, then the cordless drill station is just what you need. Whether your saw is a relic from the past or the newest on the market, perfect. Woodpecker's new Exact 90 miter gauge delivers the kind of perfectly square cuts you may have struggled to get with your standard miter gauge. The biggest weakness of standard miter gauges is trying to make both square and angled cuts. And the fit between the miter gauge and the miter slot probably isn't as tight as it needs to be. Woodpeckers has solved both problems with the new Exact 90 miter gauge. The first thing you'll notice on the Exact 90 is what's not there. There's no adjustment for setting angles other than 90 degrees. The exact 90 miter gauge is calibrated at the factory to be dead square between the head and the bar. And what that means is for most of you, you will never have to make an adjustment on this tool. If it does need a tweak, an eccentric cam adjusts the head smoothly and minutely to dial in a perfect match between your saw arbor and your miter track. To get the fit of Woodpecker's miter bar just right, in miter slots on old saws and new saws, cheap saws and high-end saws. We designed a unique patent-pending mechanism. Five nylon leaf springs press the bar against the right edge of the miter slot. It doesn't matter whether the miter slot is undersized or oversized or varies in width from one end to the other. It's always properly aligned. We put two T washers on the bottom of the bar and made it 25 and a half inches long giving you better support on wide stock cuts with a capacity of 24 inches on most 10 inch saws. If your saw doesn't have T-slots, the T-washers simply unscrew from the bottom of the bar. Perfectly square is great, but you also have to be able to control the dimension of your stock. So for the Exact 90, we developed a brand new fence system with an adjustable stop. The scale is engraved right on the top and the stop wraps around. So setting a dimension is easy and accurate. The fence takes you out to 24 inches. If you need more, lock the stop at 24 and slide the extension out. The extension bar includes a scale that reads just as precisely as the main scale. If you're ready to take your table saw to the next level of precision and accuracy, you're ready for the exact 90 miter gauge. Since the release of our indexable square, we have been swamped with requests for a smaller version. We listened to your feedback and decided to pack those same great features into a pocket-friendly pair. Introducing the Woodpecker's Mini Combination Square and the Mini Double Square.
The mini combination square gives you a square and a miter square in the same tool. The double square is square on both sides and a bit more compact than the combination square. And just like our fixed squares, we added a shoulder to give you extra support when positioning the square on the edge of your stock. With the push of a thumb, it slides out to keep the head level when you need it, then tucks back inside the head, out of the way when you need the base of the square to be flat. Both models feature laser cut notches, every sixteenth of an inch for accurate parallel scribing. The blade of the square can quickly be dialed in to any full inch mark. And that's all thanks to our built-in indexing feature. Just depress the indexing pin and slide the blade toward a full inch mark. When the pin falls in place, lock it up. It's that easy. Now your scribing guides are dialed in for perfectly accurate position relative to the head of the square. The stainless steel blades go through a multi-step process to give them a non-glare satin finish. The scales are laser engraved to an accuracy of four thousandths of an inch over the length of the blade. The laser engraving process actually changes the structure of the steel a full ten thousandths deep, so you'll never rub off or wear through the graduations. The head of each square is compact, measuring just nine sixteenths of an inch thick. The mini double square comes with a four inch blade. The mini combination square comes with a six inch blade. Both blades measure one inch wide. Each adjustable square comes with a wall mountable racket to keep your square right in plain sight, ready to go to work. The mini combination square and double square from Woodpeckers. Versatile, accurate layout tools. Tired of the drill press being the messiest machine in your shop? Fed up with drilling accuracy, relying on eyeballing a crosshair? Wait till you see what we've got for you. Since 1994, Woodpeckers has built drill press tables that transform the drill press into a more woodworking friendly machine. Now, we're introducing our most innovative model ever, the new DP Pro system. The system starts with the new DP Pro fence. It's taller than previous fences, supporting work vertically as well as horizontally. The middle of the fence is cut out, so your chuck will never interfere with the fence. And the extruded aluminum fence acts as a dust collection duct, capturing chips and shavings right where they are created. The fence is engraved with both inch and metric scales that read right and left from the center of the fence, right behind the drill bit. And to go along with our brand new fence, there's a brand new flip stop with thumb wheel micro adjustment. The table itself is made from full one inch thick Baltic birch plywood with black micro dot laminate on both the top and bottom. The table is designed in three sections, the main central table and wings on each side. When you're working on longer stock, just slide the extensions out for extra support and then tuck them back in when you're done. Now, I've had a couple different tables on my drill press at home, and every one of them has been a pain to attach. Let me show you a great new feature of the DP Pro system. The DP Pro drawer base has slots cut in the bottom that will match up to just about every drill press table out there. In fact, we haven't found one yet that it won't fit. Whether it has T-slots or through slots, straight or diagonal, it's going to fit. Once you have the base bolted on, it's simple to attach the table to the base. Not only does the base make it simple to install, it creates clearance for the crank that raises and lowers the table. And we couldn't let this space go to waste. We added a drawer to keep your drill bits, chuck keys, and hold down clamps right where you want them. We make the DP Pro table in two sizes, 36 inch and 48 inch. We make the DP Pro fence in three sizes, 
24, 36, or 48 inches. You'll find several different bundles on our website with various combinations of tables and fences. Now, if you already have one of our original drill press tables, don't feel left out. You can put the DP Pro drawer base under your old drill press table. And the DP Pro fence exactly matches the track on the old table too. Woodpecker's new DP Pro drill press table system. Improved accuracy, simplified installation, and effective dust control. Routers need a helping hand to do their job. There are thousands of jigs, guides, and templates on the market for your router, and most of them are designed to do one job. Well, we're about to change that. This is Woodpecker's multifunction router base, a feature-packed accessory designed to make routing jobs easier and more accurate. It guides your router in precisely straight lines and perfect arcs, Let's look at straight lines first. Install the edge guide in one of 10 locations on the base. Slide your router onto the polished stainless steel guide rods and you're ready to route precisely parallel to the edge of your stock. But I still haven't shown you the coolest feature of the multifunction router base. Just reach for the micro adjuster and dial your router in to exactly the right position for your cut. For example, these two lines are the exact position for this piece of plywood. I'll drop the bit into the cut, dial it into the line with the micro adjuster, and make the first half of the cut. Now I'll tweak it over to the other side and make the second half of the cut. Perfect fit. And here's product engineer Cody Yurig on the micro adjuster. I was working with the router table micro adjuster one day in the shop, and it dawned on me that the pair of guide rods with the adjustment screw centered between them could be adapted to the router base I was designing. Keeping things centered balances the tool and smooths out operation both when you're adjusting the tool and when you're using it. The 10 positions of the edge guide give you a range from barely kissing the edge to a full eight inches away. If you need more, add the extension base and position your edge up to 21 inches away. Still not enough? Optional extension guide rods can be added. Each pair adds another 12 inches. Stack up as many as you need. There's also a set of mortising pins that make it simple to route in the edge of your stock. With the micro adjuster, you can accurately cut mortises wider than your router bit or position your mortise offset to one side or the other. For cutting arcs, you have options similar to the edge guide. The base has four different access points that give you a range from three quarter inch up to eight and a quarter inches. By combining different arcs and working with the support of the large base, projects like this chip and dip tray couldn't be simpler. If you need to go beyond that, the standard extension guide rods will take you all the way out to a 45 inch diameter or add optional extensions to go as far as you need. And when you're cutting arcs, the access point is centered between the support rods and directly in line with your bit. Woodpecker's multifunction router base unlocks your creativity and takes your router to a new level of accuracy and ease of use. Woodworkers have been using table saws since 1810, and taper jigs have probably been around since 1811. For 210 years, not much has been done to make the taper jig more versatile or more accurate. Well, that has just changed. Introducing the Woodpecker's Precision Taper Jig. We've added repeatability, safety, and accuracy to this centuries-old tool. Two matching anodized extrusions are joined together by a reinforced nylon hinge. 
On the opposite end, a push plate captures the end of your stock and pushes it through the saw. What sets Woodpecker's Precision Taper Jig above all the rest is right here. The Precision Taper Jig comes with two scales. One sets angles from 0 to 7 degrees in quarter degree increments. The other sets angles from 0 to 15 degrees in half degree increments. For anything that lands between the lines, or even wider angles, the clamping bar will hold the jig by itself without the angle index. Accuracy and safety are enhanced by the MDF sled and quick release clamps. The clamps are simple to use no matter what your project calls for. With a clamping range from 3 inches down to 17 30 seconds of an inch. The clamping handles also serve double duty as convenient gripping points for pushing the jig. And the MDF sled eliminates any worry about bottom side tear out. For wider stock, you can either make a larger sacrificial sled or remove the sled and ride the precision taper jig straight on the table. It's also completely reversible, allowing you to cut tapers on both sides of the blade. If the 32 inch capacity of our standard taper jig isn't quite enough, well don't worry, because there's an optional extension kit. In a couple minutes, you can take your precision taper jig up to a full 48 inch capacity. The push plate, clamping blocks, and MDF sleds are all made from materials that won't damage your saw blade and are easily replaced. Woodpecker's precision taper jig takes your furniture designs to a whole new level of sophistication by making tapers repeatable, more accurate, and safe. The full-featured design of our Polini pocket rules are the result of a close collaboration with woodworking pro Gregory Polini. You could say it was designed by a woodworker for woodworkers, and after toting it around in your shop apron for a project or two, you'll wonder how you ever got along without it. No other small rule has all the built-in features of Woodpecker's Polini pocket rule. You may have seen one or two of our features on other rules, but none that have them all. In one small rule, you get an adjustable rule stop to guarantee perfectly repeatable layout lines, just like using a T-square. Vertical end scales for precisely setting the height of router bits and table saw blades. The rule stop doubles as a stand to set the rule on edge when using the end scales, leaving both your hands free to make machine adjustments an end notch to precisely position your pencil point for marking out. And finally, our pocket rules come in either inch, metric, or our combo inch metric scales, all engraved using state-of-the-art equipment to produce precise marks. We engrave in white on the red anodized aluminum blades for enhanced visual clarity. We use black annealed marks on the stainless steel blades that will last a lifetime and then some. Our process delivers both the durability of engraving and enhanced visual clarity. The aluminum blade is one inch wide by one eighth inch thick and the stainless steel blade is one inch wide by one sixteenth inch thick. Both sides have scale marks so you'll never have to read a dimension upside down. On one side, you see 1 32nd inch and 1 16th inch marks with a 1 32nd inch vertical end scale. On the opposite side, you'll see 1 16th inch and 1 32nd inch marks. The end scale on this side has 1 16th inch marks. Metric models use 1 millimeter marks on both sides and end scales. For woodworkers who prefer rules with both imperial and metric scales, we have the pocket rule for you. Our combo scale rules feature 1 32nd inch and 1 millimeter scales on one side with a 1 32nd inch vertical end scale. On the other side, we engrave 1 millimeter and 1 16th inch scales on the long edges with a 1 millimeter vertical end scale. Our aluminum and stainless steel Paulini pocket rules come in three different lengths with either imperial, 
metric, or our combo inch metric scales. Choose from 6 inch or 8 inch long pocket size models or the 12 inch length that's ideal for bench work. Metric lengths are 150 millimeters, 200 millimeters, or 300 millimeters. You can order any Paulini pocket rule length in imperial, metric, or combo inch metric scales individually. Or choose the full set of imperial, metric, and combo rules in either aluminum or stainless steel and get all three at a savings. So, if you're looking for pocket rules like no other for your apron pocket or tool bench that are truly indispensable, get the new Paulini Pocket Rules from Woodpeckers.